we just had a duck that had fly strike. And so I figured this was a good opportunity to show you uh, with no graphic images or anything like that, but to show you what we do and what we use in order to deal with fly strike on any of our animals. The first thing we do is we soak them in Epsom salt. We just get a tub. In this case, it was a duck. So we put her in the tub with Epsom salt. Make sure the animal uh, doesn't drink the Epsom salt water. That's bad. Um, some other things we do in terms of wound care is the uh, Vetericin Plus. Um, this one in particular is for poultry. We also use either an iodine or a betadine or betadine solution. Um, this one we got from our vet, so we use this, um, again, for wound cleaning. But the most grotesque part is cleaning out the maggots from the fly strike. So we have a couple of different tools here. Uh, the first tool we have is a toothbrush. This is just an old toothbrush. This is for um, kind of wiping and cleaning off the eggs, the, the maggots, and any debris. Greg is helping. Uh, we also use tweezers to pick up and pull out the maggots. We have a Dairy Queen spoon, ironically enough, this was just the plastic spoon that we had, to scrape, gently scrape the maggots off. And then we also have a couple of different size combs in order to, um, in order to kind of get mass eggs or maggots off. And then something else that we have found effective is lice killing shampoo. Um, we shampoo the areas and this helps actually helps kill the maggots. This is our patient Patsy. This is actually the second day we've been treating her and we've gotten all the eggs and all the maggots that we can find off of her. And she's doing really, really well.